Hi, I'm Mark from XL4. We're at the TU Automotive Exposition in Detroit, Michigan. It's the 8th of June, 2017, and I'd like to show you our in-vehicle networking solutions and our over-the-air updating and diagnostics capability. So our in-vehicle network solution, we have a head unit here running automotive Linux. This is connected over Ethernet to a Molex gateway switch. This gateway switch is providing a CAN bus for an ADAS ECU in the front of the vehicle, an Ethernet connection to an interior camera, and is also connecting via a gigabit Ethernet line to the back of the vehicle, where we have another Molex gateway that is providing four separate 100 megabit Ethernet links to two seatback displays, a digital audio amplifier, a backup camera, and a gigabit ethernet link to a telecommunications control unit, TCU smart antenna, and a CAN link to a AutoSAR based tire pressure system monitor ECU in the rear of the car. We're gonna make this whole network work together, and then we're gonna come back and do an over-the-air update to many of the devices in this car in one cycle. So I'm going to plug in a media module here. Uh, I have a USB stick with some movie content that I might like to enjoy in the vehicle. I'm plugging that into my media module, and then from my front of the car controls, I'm going to play this content in the back seats of my car. I'm running over the ethernet using the AVB audio video bridging to synchronize two separate video streams and an audio stream in the back of the car. So they're all playing in synchronous mode. I can turn these displays on or off and I remain synchronized. At the same time, because of my gigabit bandwidth, I can bring my backup camera view onto my screen here. So I'm now running two video streams and an audio stream that way and a high definition video stream this way with no latency and no difficulty in handling the data in my network. We're now going to do an over the air update to this car network system. We will install CarPlay in our media module and head unit. We will update this ECU over the CAN bus we will update that ECU over a separate CAN bus, and we will update the reverse, the parking camera, the backup camera on the car, all in one cycle. I've pre-constructed that campaign, and I will deploy that campaign now using our eSync web application. That campaign has now deployed, and we will watch its progress the first step is a security negotiation between the server, the eSync server on the cloud and the vehicle. Once the security profiling has been completed, then the server will begin downloading the software and the eSync system in the vehicle will begin updating the various elements even as the software is continuing to download. We now see on our screen the first indication of progress. That software is now coming down. While that is installing, we're bringing down the new software for this unit. You can see this unit is now being reprogrammed. This one has now been completed. The head unit and the media module have been completed. And the new software for the tire pressure system is coming down. That is now being installed. As we come over here, we can see that unit has begun programming. Even as it programs, we are bringing down the software for the reverse, for the parking camera. So far, our status indicates we have three successful installations and we're still reprogramming the camera. Thank you for joining us for our demonstrations at the TU Automotive Expo today. If you'd like more information, we invite you to visit us at www.xl4.com.